Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to seventh episode. Oh shit! Hello and welcome to eighth episode of Frog Manual. In this episode, we will be assembling the next magazine for the next gun, which was recently published, and this is the AR-10 Type from VFC GBB R. And this magazine uh, should also fit into the SCAR age in future from WE and VFC if I ever reach uh, them in my converting plans, let's say. For now, it will uh, be usable with SR25, M110, M110, K1, and if there will be something else based of the AR10 platform, probably it will be perfectly fine too. This magazine has the capacity of 40 BBs, you can limit it to 20, I will explain during the video how do you do it. All of the parts are here, so I will explain what they are exactly. So we need a 3D printer and some metal parts. All the files uh, for those printable parts are stored in my repositories, you can download them there for free. Okay, so uh, let's start looking into this. Uh, we need the base plate. I printed out of resin, the same as the magazine show. New beautiful Frog Earth color version 3. You can do it on regular FDM printer. It will just look a little different, so up to you, whatever color you like. For example, this pig magazine looks really, really nice. Then we have two halves of the magazine, uh, FDM printed. We also have the capacity lock, spring lock, base plate lock, and two halves of the follower top and bottom, plus the feeding lips. So these were all the printed parts. The next parts is the main spring. Uh, the dimensions for it are visible on the screen. Uh, there is also this smaller spring needed, um, it's the same type of wire, it's on the screen too. We will use two threaded inserts with M2 thread, two screws M2 times 14, one screw M3 times 5 conical head, five nuts M3, five screws. Uh, I'm using these uh, cylindrical heads, this is M3 times 12. And the last part is the paper clip. As usual with all printed parts, you must make sure they are cleaned up. There are no um, strings or like blobs, whatever, anywhere in them that would block the functionality or impair it somehow. Mine are already prepared. So before we do the final assembly, we need to prepare both halves and the follower. Let's start with the halves. We need to take those two brass inserts that were listed at the beginning and we put them here into these holes and we need to pull them into the plastic. So basically you drop it in, then you put through the screw so you can catch this right like that. I will take soldering iron and I will heat this up pushing it deeper deeper inside so it will heat up in a moment and the screw will keep it going straight into the position let's say it does not have to be completely through but let's pull it push it right now it's okay and you see that uh, this material deforms a little it's uh, PLA actually so often it's uh, hard again I can take a knife and make sure that there is nothing uh, sticking out here, yeah? so just quickly cut off the excess carefully, obviously. And if you do it properly, there should be no visible trace on this side, so just a quick check. Nothing's deformed. Looks okay. So now the second side, exactly the same. Let's put this one aside. There is the opening, so we throw the brass insert in, we catch it with the screw and I start to push it, warm it up a little and push it inside. If you want you can also uh, like melt this bump down, yeah? it's no difference. And when doing this be sure not to breathe in the fumes so do it with like a well ventilated room, whatever. Um, yeah, so now both parts are attached. Again here on this side it should not be deformed or anything. Here make sure it's flat and I think it's good enough. 
So now when we have both inserts in, let's put them aside and we will be assembling the follower the same exact way as we do it for all rifle magazines for frog engineering design. We take the paper clip, we take the bottom part of the follower and we squeeze it through the side here so that it goes through like this and then we can put the top part of the follower catch it with the wire and target the hole on the other side. Here I clip off most of the wire like this so that the excess should be more or less even with the second side and then basically I press it in like this. Okay and it's in, uh, the top of the follower should be loose. It is loose. Now, uh, just to make sure the wire is not scratching, um, no leftovers sticking out, in case they would be, in my case actually I can feel this, uh, it's best to just file it. Yeah, and it's fine. So the second part is ready. Right now we will assemble the base plate lock into the inserts. And this is pretty simple, but first let's loop the inserts. I basically spray silicone all over this BB track on both sides. It will be a lot, but the 3D printed parts are very rough. They have lots of tiny uh, grooves, so this will leak down and it will not be a problem. You will probably never need to loop it again and the BBs will not be like uh, dipped in the loop too. So I just went with the spray along the track spraying, you see it seems like a lot but it will be perfectly fine. So then we need to take the spring and the spring has sharp tips that we don't want so we must bend them down so that the end of the spring is flat. And on the second side the same. And with this spring we can go to the assembly. So if we take the right half, um, you can see there is a supporting wall here. So we put the spring against it. Then we take the base plate lock and it has a cutout corner on one side which will fit only one way here. So we need to put it with that cutout aligned. And when we have it like this, we need to close it. Here you can see the cutout which I meant. It should spring back, it works. After this step we will uh, screw in those five screws and use those nuts. I will show only one and the rest I will do off screen. So basically in these hexagonal uh, openings you just put the nut in there and from the other side you put the screw and then you just need to tighten it. It should pull on the nut and it will be ready. So then the next screws they go exactly the same way. And voila we have five screws in place, five nuts on the other side. So the next thing we do is we take the follower and we drop it in like this with the arm going here inside. It goes in and with the follower inside we put the um, feeding lips on the top like this and we have those two M2 screws that go on each side. One goes here and the second one goes here. Now when we've done it we rotate the magazine to this side and we will put in the main spring through here but first we must prepare it so it has two ends, again these are sharp tips. Uh, the end that will be facing this way we need to just flatten out similar to what we did to the uh, base plate lock spring and the other one we need to first thing make it flat but then make it like a spiral going inside. So I will basically squeeze it a little here. You can see now maybe it's like a spiral going inside and the reason for it is that this way when traveling through the BB track it will not scratch on anything. So we take this spiral end and we put it in first. Complete spring goes in and then we can help ourselves with some screwdriver. 
Okay, make sure that the spring is down there deep inside on the bottom. It is, everything's fine. So now we need to put the spring cover, this tiny screw that we will be using here, and 3 times 5 conical, and we screw it down. So now what's left is to rotate the magazine to this side and here you can see the markings for the capacity so we insert the capacity lever here and when it's on the rear position uh, the uh, follower can travel unobscured through here and the capacity will be 40 and when we switch it to the side uh, it will basically catch on the arm of follower not allowing it to go further so just be sure when switching this you need to make the magazine at least half empty so that the follower is on this side because if you limit the follower when it's on this side it will obviously also be limited to 20 BBs but 20 BBs will be permanently closed in the mag trapped there and it will wear out the spring completely unnecessarily. Remember switch it only when um, the follower is on this side. Now when it's ready the last step will be taking the insert, putting it all the way into the shell, it should slide and then take the base plate and slide it from the front until this lock will catch here. And it's ready, you can see it closed. We have a nice FMEG 762. Um, before you use it, I could say it's ready to use, but not really. Uh, before you use it, make sure you will format the magazine. And I have a video with an instruction how to do it. I will link it to the bottom of this video so that it's easy to find for you. But generally, that's how you do it, that's how you assemble this magazine. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or through the Facebook. Also, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. Be ready for next videos coming from Frog Engineering. Thank you so much for your attention and have a nice day.